check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to another one. We're going to do some 20 gauge buckshot for you guys. I know we ain't done nothing with 20 gauge in a long time. So, we're going to rectify that here. We have four three inch and four two and three quarters. So, we're using Josh's dad's Maverick 88. It has an 18 and a half inch barrel. It was a youth model. He upgraded to an, what is that, 835 stock? Yeah. Mossberg 835 camo stock. I'm not sure what kind of camo, but it does look nice. Yeah. We're using a full choke for the smaller pellets and a modified for the stuff like 32 cal single lot and 31 cal. But I think for the majority of these, we're sticking to the full choke. Anyway, we're at 42 yards. We're gonna obviously run them over a chronograph to see the speed. Uh, this is an 18 and a half inch barrel. So obviously if you're using a 28 or 26, 24, you're gonna have more velocity than this, but it's what we have. Good to go. Alrighty guys, first up is the heaviest one of the day. It is one and three eighth ounces, just under it anyway. But the data is actually it's published load data minus uh, swap the shot out for buckshot. 30 grains of little gun in a brand new prime three inch Fiocchi. A TPS wad, which is actually a uh, LBC 50 or LBC wad. Four pedal full cut, 32 gauge nitro card. 16 pellets of 29 cal number one buck and number 47 buffer the data was everything the same minus uh it had shot not buckshot but anyway pellet size is the only thing that changed yeah psi was i think 9430 1150 fps and i was wrong this is a 22 inch barrel but uh you ready josh yeah 1217. Didn't expect that with this uh, this short barrel. But, how's the hull look? <sighs> Beautiful. Oh, that had a roll crimp, by the way. Not a fold crimp. And from what I can see, the pattern appears to be in a circle, and it looks like it's really tight right above point of aim. Hull looks great. That's good to hear. I mean, well, I already knew that, but for them, it's good to hear. It's good to confirm. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. I'm uh, I like that one. All righty, guys. It looks like a beaver chewed the edge of the paper off. Yeah. Other than that, didn't have a knife down here with me. Anyway, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Barring any doubles, uh, there's fourteen of sixteen. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so there's 14 of 16. Um, don't know where the other two are. I don't see them anywhere. No. Okay, so anyway, pattern measures 14 by... Is that lined up over there? Come a little farther. Okay. 14 by 14. That's really dang good for a 20 gauge at 42 yards. That's a very good load. We did recover the wad too. What's funny about it is the gas seal is turned inside out for whatever reason. Don't know why, but it held up just fine. Well, let's move on to the next one. That's uh, that's a great start. Alrighty, guys. Up next, this one here is loaded with 22 grains of blue dot, the OB20 watt, a quarter inch of felt, 12 pellets of 32 cal, single lot buck, and BSB buffer. Let's see how it does, shall we? Yeah. We did switch out to a mod choke. I feel like that was an odd start to this clip. What? The death growl in the ah! from um, you. Anyways, we switched out to a mod choke. These bigger pellets are kind of funny in a 20 gauge. They'll stack, but you got to watch your chokes. Are you ready? Yep. Safety's all. 1289. Also would not expect that speed out of such a short barrel. That one stuck? Yeah. It was tight going in, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Weird. Cleaning rod. Where's it at? I have no idea. No. So, needless to say, that one was a little bit spicy. Uh, yeah, don't put 22 grains of blue dot in that. That was too much. 20 might do it. 
Alrighty guys, I don't feel like this is really worthy to measure, but we do have all 12 pellets on paper, barely, but they are there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and number 12 was right there. Yep, that was just a bad load on my part. Guess I was a little bit off in the powder charge, but pattern's not horrible. It's a little bit wider than what we like though, but there's no wad. I think 32 cal might be a bit of a stretch to put that in 20 gauge. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> See, board diameter on 20 gauge is about 62 cal. Obviously, the stack by two is a 64. The pellets are over bore for the, you know, gauge. But I don't know. 20 gauge is in that weird size where you can still use pellets that are too big for the bore. And you guys see the result. We end up with a little bit wide pattern. Not bad, though. But moving on. All right, guys, this one is still new prime Fiocchi. 12, or sorry, 17 grains of long shot. The obturator 20, one quarter inch of felt. 12 pellets of 31 cal single lot. And BSB buffer. I thought the action was open. No. Well, that one went in easy. Ready? Yeah. 11.43, that speed seems right. The three inch hauls are too long to come out of the action. <laughs> it says it's chambered for three inch. It, yeah, see Jaren's Mavic 88 is 12 gauge, but it also has that issue where three inch shells do not want to come out of the gun. There it goes. Come on. more uh, persuasion, I guess. Well, I've lost the hole. It's gone. Where'd it go? It left. It's underneath the lead sled itself, bud. Yeah, I see it. I can't reach it. Yes, I can. It looks perfect. Nothing wrong with that at all. Ouchie. All right, guys, so we have one, two, it's a wide pattern, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, do you see any that I missed? No. All right, we have 11, 11 of 12 pellets. I don't know why I closed that up. Uh, that's huge. So it's like a 24 by... No, right there. A 24 by 20, that's that's too wide for our locking. And there's nothing around point of aim. There's some below it and wave above it. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, these conventionally loaded shells are not doing so hot. Maybe the 30 cal will, I don't know. I like mine, but I don't like... I like mine for bird shot. I don't like it for large pellets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not really a fan of 20 gauge for buckshot, but... I mean, we've had okay luck with it. Mine throws slugs good, too. Yeah? But, oh, uh, we're rolling. I forgot. Oh, that's fine. All righty, guys. This is the last of the Mohicans for the 3-inch. I quit dropping it. Anyways, out of this segment of the 20-gauge videos, it is loaded with 18 grains of long shot. Yeah. The OB-20 wad, a half-inch of felt, a Teflon wrap, 12 pellets of number one buck, and BSB buffer. We're 42 yards. We have switched back out for the full choke again. Since we're back down to the smaller of the large pellet sizes. I guess as long as he's ready and you're all ready. I'm ready. We'll see I don't know about thing. them. Let's go. 12.02. Oh. Stuck again. Yep. Butthole. There it goes. That is a charge for that weight too. Don't know. It looks fine. The hole looks perfect. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No, it's just a little bit sticky. Yeah, the hole looks just fine, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven and twelve? Yeah. Okay, that's not horrible. Wasp is guys, I'm telling you, they're everywhere. Sorry about the mic noise. <laughs> I hate them. Anyways, did you get me counting that already? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, we'll go from, let's call that one. I just measured the core. I wouldn't bother with them pliers. It looks like it's a 11. 
by 11 by 11. Okay, so yeah, the core is not bad at all. Speed's pretty good, 1202. Excluding this one and wherever its buddy went. <laughs> its buddy went. I don't know. We got a couple flyers, three, but I mean, uh, the rest of it's pretty good. Uh, let's move on to the two and three quarter inch. I expect All righty, guys. Real quick, though, me. I am exactly 67 inches away from an asshole. You are recording, sir. All righty, guys. This one is a two and three quarter inch once fired Federal with a Fiocchi primer, 14 grains of double A super handicap. The Clay Buster 078-20, which is the 7 8 ounce Clay Buster wad. Eight pellets of number one buck, which is 30 cal, mixed number 47 buffer. See how it does. This one's more of a home defense style shell, not a hunting, but you never know how it does at long range. It might do pretty well. 1336. I don't think that's right, but it could be. That is only a three-quarter ounce load, by the way. The haul looks perfect. Nothing wrong with that at all. Maybe it was running that fast. That is a fast-burning target powder. The haul does indeed fact does in fact look good. I'll get it out here in a second. Let's go see how it patterned. All right, guys. For 42 yards, that is not bad at all. We have a spread of 19 and a half inches by about 11. 19 and a half by 11. That's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 right here. Why is there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Okay, that, that is all 8 pellets. Deer capable at 42 yards, but that one's more geared towards home defense. Either way, it did pretty dang well. Let's see what we got next. Oops. They are an eight-point crimp, though. Yeah, that's all right. I like eight-point. Rolling. All righty, guys. Up next, we have 20 grains of long shot. The CB078. Yep. 20. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry for the handwriting. It's all right. All righty, guys. Up next, we got 20 grains of long shot, the CB078 20 gauge wad. I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah. 12 pellet to number two buck and mix number 47 buffer. Still up 42 yards with a full choke in this rig. See how it does. I like number two buck. Yeah. 1429. I think the uh, low light is starting to mess with our chrono numbers a little bit. Yeah. Huh? Looks great. Well, that could be right. I don't know. Looks real good. Awesome. And here's the hull. Looks just fine. No issues at all. Alrighty, guys. It looks like we have all 12 pellets right there. That's pattern pretty good. Get out of here out of the... Out of the shadow, anyways. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven. Eleven, there it is, yep. Eleven or twelve. Yep, I don't see the twelve pellet again. But what's there is pretty dang good. Yeah, the core of the pattern looks like it is a ten by ten by nine and a half, ten by ten roughly. Yeah, something like that. That's a pretty good pattern. The smaller pellets obviously work out a lot better in 20 gauge than the bigger ones do. Go figure. Hmm. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Us. We are the shotgun scientists. Oh, yes. But, move on to the next one. 14 pellets of number 2 buck. I believe in a non-tox wad, so it should be even tighter. Yes. Hey, bud, did you hear that? No. Good, I didn't either. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so this one is... A, another once fired federal 20 grains of HS6 Fiocchi primer. TPS wad, which once again is an LBC. Full cut, four pedals, 28 gauge felt. And we have 14 pellets of number two buck in here. Mixed number 47 buffer. This one I expect to pattern really good. <clears throat> 
Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm not. How about now? <laughs> 13, 17. I see the wad again. Yep, I caught Buffer in the eye on that one. And it's stuck again. Uh. Since your nose stick. So this gun is just having... Ow. <laughs> this gun is just having problems with sticky shells. That's all it is. Ow. Oh, it's out. It wasn't in there tight at all. I barely poked it and it came out. Looks just fine. Yes, it does. He didn't even stop. <laughs> Maybe he's in a hurry. All looks great. Alrighty, guys. Pattern on this one measures, let's see, about 18 inches by... <laughs> 18 by 18. That's not bad. Could be a little bit tighter. The speed on that one, I, I dropped that down to 18 grains. Get that around 1200, 1250. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Or, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Unless I missed one, we have 13 to 14. Can someone explain this though? Why? are the TPS 20 gauge wads turning inside out around the gas seal. That's happened twice now. Don't know. <laughs> nope, chrono's not on. Oh. The shell's in my hand. You know what? That battery in that chrono has lasted over a year. Yeah. Is that the same one? Yeah. Dang. It's the one your uncle gave us. Over a year ago. Alrighty, guys. This one here is near and dear to my heart, sorta. Of. It is 20 grains of HS6, the TPS, four pedal full cut, eighth inch, 28 gauge felt wad, 21 pellets, number four buck, and mixed number 47 buffer. I know that this load right here replaced it with like number fours or number six shot is a turkey killing machine. Ounce and an eighth, yeah. I've loaded a bunch of them for old buddy a couple years back. He's got an old Charles Daly. But nonetheless, what was a jelly head or something like that choke he's got in it? It was ridiculous patterns. 15 yards, it cut a hole the size of a soup can. Yep, this is ridiculous. But let's see how this one does. I know this combination has the... Potential? Yeah. Yeah. 13, 16. That one came out just fine. I see the wad. That actually was an ounce and an eighth payload of that too. Yeah. Primer looks good. It might be slightly on the flat side, but that's completely, the completely are flat. acceptable. That's a Fioki primer. They're flat already. You'll see what I mean. It's ever so slightly got a... Oh, yeah. A but that's bit. completely acceptable. Yeah, large firing pinhole. Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it all looks good. Let's go check out the pattern. Roll in good, sir. Alrighty, guys. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Bad there? flyer up here in the corner. Oh, twenty-one. I missed that one too. That's twenty-two. That's oh, all. Oh, oh no, never mind. That's it. That's a, that's a BB hole. Oh, I'm steel shot. That's twenty-two, right? Yep. No, 21. That's all 21 oh. there, though. Alrighty. No flyers. Not really. I mean, farthest pellet, farthest pellet we have. We're being exact here, anyways. 24 and three quarter. And. 24 and three quarter. That's the scale Gibson uses on their guitars. That's a fun little tidbit. Yeah. This one here is 17 and seven eighths. Good, sir. That's not bad. <laughs> no, I like that one. That may be the best size pattern overall out of all of them, besides maybe the first. If you want I, a little bias here, that's actually my go-to load for yeah. 20 gauge. 20 grains of HS6, ounce and an eighth of force, or any size lead shot, really. But yep. That might be accidentally a three-inch load, though. Just it, bear in mind. Actually, that. it's not. I'll explain that in one second, but the... Uh, TPS watt here, which again is an LBC 50. The gas seal on it is turned inside out too. Now, uh, ballistic products on their TPS watt 
load data website thing. I don't know. Anyway, it actually lists that. It's 18 grains of HS6 with a roll crimp. Ounce and an eighth a shot in this wad. And it's like a 8,000 something PSI with a 1050 FPS. So Right. See, the loading I have listed for it lists as a 3 inch, but it's running 21 or 22 grains of 540. That's where it gets a little yeah. hairy. So it's an exact don't don't do what we do 540 is is hs6 it's just exact, the name even on their website it's an exact clone of the powder it's just rebranded a different name yep but that's the data that i have for it but now it's an eighth. it was low enough psi that i took out a little bit of cushion section because it did not need three inch capacity by no means no it really didn't as you guys seen it fits in two and three quarter inch perfect right I noticed in some loads, uh, whoever is publishing the recipe will use like gas seals and stuff underneath the wad when you really don't need it at all just to put it in a three or three and a half inch shell when otherwise it would fit in the shorter shells. I'm not really 100% sure why they do that. Maybe they have wad failures and that's the reason for the gas seals under the wads, but I don't know. I don't either. All in all though, this was a relatively fun video. It was. Uh, wow. Maybe that's why it's in a three-inch shell. Maybe the three-inch version does have a gas seal underneath it. Maybe that's why hey, right there. The inverted... Uh, how, how can I word this here? <laughs> the inverted sphincter syndrome has not seemed to uh, affect this pattern at no. all. <laughs> inverted sphincter syndrome. <laughs> Go to the hospital if you have that. Can't argue with this. No, you really can't. That's a pretty good pattern. <laughs> the that wind fixed one, it. First one's pretty good, too. Run your foot through it, and let's be done with it. Yeah! There you go. Look at that. <laughs> this is literally, we started filming. It is now roughly 6 o'clock. We started filming at <laughs> 10 o'clock this morning. There's a few videos worth of paper on this board. Oh, yeah. There's quite a few sheets of paper, too, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> We filmed, I think, five videos. I don't know. <coughs> it's been a fun day, I can tell you that. It's been a full day. Oh, yeah. But, all righty, guys. You can't see it no more. We'll see you. I don't know. Where'd We're probably go? closing down shop. I blinked and it's gone. <laughs> all right. Anyway, if you want to, check out the stuff in the description below. Patreon, Rumble, Instagram, merch store, all that stuff really helps us out. You guys know how it goes. But other than that. Cue outro. <laughs> <laughs>